Okay, both teams take the court and we're about to get underway. Starting for Emmaus this afternoon, McKenna Harwood, Regeer, Katie Horn making her first start at Madeline Weist. Leading scorer for Emmaus, Hannah Boyer, is not starting because of injury. We'll see if she gets in this afternoon. Faith controls the opening tip and we're underway. Stolen by Harwood for Emmaus. McKenna controls the offense. Just underway a few minutes early, so if you tuning in at four, you might be a couple minutes behind. Katie Horn down low, gets it, puts it up, no good. Rebound by Madeline Weiss, she puts it up and in. The Mays in the man to man. Baseline jumper. No good, Horn with the rebound for Mayus. Madeline Weiss drives, pass it back out, stolen. Faith player up ahead, lays it up and good. Basket by number 13, Fritz. Full court zone pressure put on after that make. McKenna gets it across. In low to Horn, who lays it up. Her first two points, four to Emmaus. 8.20 to go in the first quarter. Both teams are nicknamed the Eagles today, so we'll go by Faith and Emmaus as Lurgis with her first points. Foul called on Fritz for Faith. Harwood will inbound right in front. I think, not sure what the call was on that. The ref said 10 seconds, but there was 22 seconds left on the shot clock when the whistle blew. So they do correct that. Shot clock goes back to 22. It'll be Emmaus basketball. And they do get it across. Harwood controls. Horn at the free throw line. Back out to Madeline Weiss for three. No good. Rebounded by Faith. Four, four, early going. Drive, stop the lane. Ball batted away, controlled by Emmaus. Emmaus brings it up court. Down low, Brooke Regeer turns, puts it up, in and out, no good. Horn with the rebound. Back out front, Weist has it, she gets surrounded. Ball goes off, and Faith comes up with it. Faith now, baseline jumper is short. Horn with the rebound. Back this way for Emmaus. McKenna controls top of the arc. Tried to get an interior pass, batted away. Faith comes away, another turnover. Good pass, that right underneath the basket puts it up, no good. Madeline Weist with the rebound for Mayus. Harwood brings it up slowly. Horn got it at the free throw line, was surrounded, the ball's turned over. Back, right back the other way. Up and good, 
by number 11, Bolt. We got a 30 second timeout and we'll keep it right here. Coming up, March 21st to 23rd, Discover Emmaus Weekend here on campus. All prospective students you want to sign up for that, featuring Shane and Shane in concert. That's March 3rd, I'm sorry, March 21st to the 23rd. See your enrollment counselor for more details. Both teams trying to find their way so far. Early going, uh, Faith is three of six shooting. While Mace is two of five, Hannah Boyer does check in for Katie Horn. Hannah was uh, didn't play last game due to injury, but is back in here today. Hannah's leading scorer for Mayus. Harwood baseline jumper is short. McKenna comes away with the loose ball. Boyer has it back out top to Wiest. Baseline Regeer steps. Wiest for three is good. <laughs> Madeline Wiest with her first three pointer and gives the lead back to Amaya. 7 6, 540 to go in the first. Now Louise comes a turnover. She's up ahead of everyone. Lays it up and good. Madeline Louise. She has seven of the nine points for Mayas. A quick start for Madeline. Faith with it, working their offense. Ten on the shot clock for Faith. Dribbles left, right side, stops, passes. Ten footer is in and out, no good. Rebounded by Brooke Regeer for Mayus. Harwood has it left side, back to McKenna. Weast with another three on the way is no good. Rebounded by number 13, Fritz. For Faith, she brings it up. Faith trying to set their offense. 10 on the shot clock. Almost tied up, poked away, down to four. Drives left side, puts it up. And the shot clock didn't hit the rim. Shot clock violation. Two. Kate Jansen checks in for Mayus. Madeline Wiest with seven points has a seat for Mayus. Four minutes go, first quarter. Mayus up 9 6. Brooke Regeer gets it inside. She took a step though before laying it up and in. Brooke got the pass, hesitated, then took the step instead of, if she would have taken the pass and the steps in one motion, that would have been fine. Faith with the ball. Errant pass picked up by Jansen for Mayus and back we come this way. Harwood right side for three, no good. McKenna with the rebound. Faith really packing in the zone right now. He gets the tip ball the other way. Up and good by number 31. Burgess, that's four points for her for Faith. Two one two zone, Faith is in right now. Long passes around the perimeter for Mays. Inside the Boyer, she gets back out to Jansen for the 15 elbow jumper, it is no good. And Faith comes away with the rebound. Yeah. 
Class has just ended just a short while ago, so the students here are still filing in. Three-pointer on the way for eight, no good. Regeer gets it and gives it to McKenna, who will bring it up court for Mayus. Entry pass by the way. McKenna has it again. Harwood right side. Eagles reset. 10 on the shot clock. Harwood puts up the right side. Three is good. Anna Harwood with her first three of the afternoon. Harwood shoots 33% from three. Makes the first one. Tip ball to stay this way with Faith. Just under two minutes to go in the first. Madeline Wiest comes back in. Aaron McKenna will go have a break. Good first quarter by Emmaus. Let's see if they can close it out in this final minute 50. Foul on that. Brooker Gear with her first foul. First foul call to the game right there, I believe. Faith will inbound with the 20 second shot clock underneath their own basket. In the lane, drive, puts it up the right hand, it is no good. Brooker Gear with the, re uh, Kate Jansen with the rebound. Orgy with the nice move, couldn't get it to drop. Mays back on offense. Another telegraph pass picked off. Up and good by Wurgis. She now has six points. Eight turnovers for Emmaus. Knocked out of bounds. It'll be Eagle basketball. They really want to try to keep it under 20 turnovers for the game. Having eight already in the first quarter. Not a good sign. A minute nine to go. Regeer gets an elbow, gets the friendly roll. Brooke Regeer with her first two points this afternoon. Minute to go. Eagles up 14-10 here in the first. Man-to-man -man D right now. Ten footer on the baseline is good by Forgey. That's her first points. It's about a 10 second differential shot clock and game clock. Let's see what Emmaus does here on offense. They work it around. Looking for a good shot. Boyer with the foul line jumper is good. Yeah. Hannah Boyer. Yeah. Faith will hold for the last shot. 15 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Loose ball picked up, four. Three-pointer on the way is no good. Loose ball picked up by Jansen, and that'll do it. Good first quarter for the Emmaus Eagles. They lead 16 to 12. 16-12, Emmaus up by four. They will inbound at the start of the second quarter here. Back in that zone again for Faith. They work it around. Weiss thinks about it. Boyer has it. Corner jumper for Harwood is no good. And it's rebounded by Harms for Faith. Down low. Nice move by 31. Wurgis, she now has eight points. Eight points for Wurgis. 4G Bolt and Fritz have two for Emmaus. Wiest with seven, Harwood with three, and then Regeer, Boyer, and Horn with two apiece. Eagles working around that zone. Jansen gets it down low, back out to Wiest. Straight on three is no good. Regeer rebound, she puts it right back up and good. Brooke Regeer with a nice rebound and put back. Puts the lead back to four for Emmaus. Faith with it, fouls called. 
22. Foul on 22. Brooke Regeer. That's her second. That's right. The Rook, Brooke Regeer will go have a seat. Getting two fouls. They want to get her third foul before the half. Harwood joins her for a break. Faith gets it inbounds. Drives. Puts up the floater. Is good. By Fritz, that's four points for a nice shot. Got the inbounds pass, drove to the center lane, put it up and good. Cuts the deficit to two for Faith. Emmaus with the ball, still in that zone, working it around the perimeter. Low setter, 15 foot baseline jumper is good. Jenna Low setter just checked into the game, and that's her first points this afternoon. May is still in the man to man. Turn, shot, no good. Rebounded by Faith. They back it back out. Ten on the shot clock. Batted away. Controlled by Faith with six. Three on the way. Back iron, no good. Rebounded though by Faith, puts it back up. Jones the foul. Rebounded by Forgy. She went back up with it, didn't get it, but draws the foul. Oh, man. Hannah Boyer for the foul for Mays. That's her first foul. Aaron McKenna comes back in, and Kate Jansen will go out. Forgy only shoots 48% from the free throw line. First one is good for the senior from Faith. Back eye no good. Boyer with the rebound. 20 to 17, seven and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Faith in that zone. Bo 10 on the shot clock. Boyer has it. Elbow jumper is good. Hannah Boyer. Yeah. Boyers two for two from the field with four points for Emmaus. Five point lead, biggest of the game for any team right now. 15 footer is no good. Rebounded by McKenna, she pushes it up the right side for Emmaus. Madeline Weiss thinks about it, takes a step in. 18 footer is no good. Rebounded by the Forgy for Faith. Faith continues to work it around on offense. 10 on the shot clock. Drives right side underneath. Long two is no good. Doesn't hit the iron, and that'll be a shot clock violation. Second one that Emmaus has forced in this first half. Anna Harwood comes back in. Lostetter and Wiest take a seat. On the court for Emmaus is McKenna, Wiest, Boyer, Harwood, and Barrett. Barrett with the ball. Weist has it, gains control. 10 on the shot clock. Boyer gets it inside. Pass is picked off. And it goes back to Faith. Faith's looking for an opening. Right side baseline, a little eight footer is no good. Barrett with the rebound for Emmaus. Just over five minutes to go in the second quarter. McKenna calls out the offense for Emmaus. Harwood straight on, thinks about it. 
10 on the shot clock. We, Boyer has a foul line. McKenna tries to go down on the Barrett. Five on the shot clock. We puts it up a three is off the backboard, no good. Rebounded by Harms for Faith, who gives it off to Wurgis, who brings it up. Faith continues to work around the perimeter. In the lane drives, no good. By Forgy. Mays put it down with the rebound. McKenna has it in the corner. Back out top. Boyer has it at the free throw line. Turns it surrounded. Weist with three is good. Mallory Weist. Her second three-pointer. She leads all scores now with 10 points as that pushes the lead by eight-point lead for May. It's 25-17 with 3.45 to go in the half. Van Chance defense. Nine on the shot clock for Faith. Drives left, three-pointer on the way is good. Wurgis now has 11 points. We have a timeout by May. 30 seconds. 30 second timeout, we'll keep it right here. Some score, uh, some stats on the game so far. Faith shooting. 9 of 23, 39%. 1 of 4 from 3 and 1 of 2 from the line. They have 5 turnovers. Emmaus, 11 of 22 shooting, 50%. Very good. 3 of 9 from 3. They have not attempted a free throw. They have 8 turnovers to 5 for Faith. Emmaus, a big advantage rebound. 16 rebounds to 8 to Faith and 5 on the offensive end. Teams back on the court. That eight point lead was cut to five after that three. So Mayus with the basketball on a five point lead. 3.15 to go in the second quarter. Still on its own. McKenna goes up as a shot block. Ball is taken by Faith, comes back this way. Five-footer stop is no good, and Emmaus able to come down with the rebound. McKenna has it now for Emmaus. They work it around. Harwood drives. Weist with the three from the right side. is good, Mallory Weist with her third three-pointer. This afternoon, and that pushes the lead back to eight with just over two and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Faith with the basketball, 11 on the shot clock. Long three-pointer from the right side on the way is no good. Katie Horn with the rebound. McKenna will bring it up court and get the offense set for Emmaus. Harwood for three from the left side is no good. Katie Horn tries to chase it down. She gets stuck in the corner, is able to pass it to Regeer and they get her reset. 15 on the shot clock now. A telegraph pass, picked off, bolt down and good. Oh. Snuck out of that zone. Tipped the ball, took it, length of the court. Emmaus comes back this way. Horn with it at the foul line, surrounded. Held ball, possession will go to Faith. Hannah Boyer checks back in. Eagles had an eight point lead with about two minutes to go. Let's see what happens in this last minute 30 before halftime. Let's see if they can close out Strong. Man to man D. Tries to go down low. 
Can't hail pass turn, puts up a shot off the side of the shot clock. That's out of bounds. It'll be Eagle basketball. Got the, got the pass too close to the baseline, was down too deep. Tried to put up the jumper and hit the side of the shot clock for an out of bounds. Eagle basketball, a minute to go. McKenna drives, dishes into the corner. The pass was too hard, goes off a of Harwood out of bounds. 57.7 to go here in the second. Faith with the ball. Three on the way, no good. And Mayus comes up with the loose ball. About seven second difference between shot clock and game clock right now. And out of pounds, bad pass there goes out of bounds. Shot clock is all faithful hold for the last one. They are down by six. Can't give up a three here. Drive, stops in the lane, looks. Straight on three on the way is short. Rebounded with 12 seconds left, Anna Harwood. She has pressure. Five on the clock. Tries to get to her gear down low, she turns, gives it to Hannah Boyer, puts it up. Oh, no good, rolls off the rim, that would have counted. Got it off just before the horn sounded. Anyway, we go in hey, to the locker room. And Emmaus is up 28-22 after 20 minutes here at the Pollard. But anyway, we're about to get underway as Emmaus inbounds the ball and starts up their offense. Faith back to man-to-man -man now after that zone in the first half. Regeer down low, puts it up and draws the foul. Brooke Regeer will go to the line to shoot two free throws for Emmaus. These will be Emmaus' first foul on Wacker for Faith. First free throw attempts of the afternoon for Emmaus. Free throw on the way is good. Brooke is a 60% free throw shooter. Looking for tires, Town Fair Tire, name brand tires at discount prices. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Regeer makes both. And puts Emmaus back on top, 30 to 28. Faith with it. Emmaus into man to man. Long two on the way is no good. McKenna rebounds it for Emmaus. McKenna still has it. Baseline jumper for Harwood is no good. Ball goes off a of faith player and out of bounds. It'll be stay this way, Emmaus basketball. Shot clock goes to 20. Ball inbounded, back to Harwood. She's McKenna in the lane. Horn with the 10 footer from the side is no good. Rebounded by Wacker for Faith. Wurgis controls the offense now for Faith. Tries to go down low, out of baseline, cutting to the basket, in and out, no good, gets her own rebound, is good. Number 24, wow. Wacker, good effort there, got the pass down the lane, put it up, no good, got the rebound, put it back. That's her first two points today. Man to man now for Faith after that zone in the first half. And that results in a steal. Up ahead, long pass off the fingertips. Tries to save it and it goes to Anna Harwood for May as they come back this way. Long pass was a little bit just off the fingertips and May is able to come up with it. Regeer drives left, out to McKenna. 11 on the shot clock, down low to Horn in the lane, turns. Nice move, but can't finish. And it goes to Faith. Hey, 
Faith has the ball on the baseline. Drives. Good pass to Wacker, no good. Madeline Wiest with the rebound. Hannah Boyer gonna check in next stoppage for Emmaus. Kate Jansen getting ready to check in too. Nice move by McKenna, good find by Madeline Wiest. Give and go, led to the easy layup. Lead eight for Emmaus. Ball turned over, comes up with McKenna, brings it up right side, three on one. Baseline back to the gear in the lane, back to McKenna, 10 footer is no good. Rebounded by Horgy for Faith. Wurge is with the ball now for Faith. Drives left side, lays it up with the left hand and good, nice move by Wurge. She has 13 points for Faith. McKenna right side. Brooke Regeer goes in the lane, baseline. Horn with it, picks up her dribble. 10 on the shot clock, Harwood has it, drives left side lane, puts it up and no good. Rebounded by Faith. Drives underneath the base basket, puts it back out in the lane. Bay three sets with 13 on the shot clock. Good defensive stop, Horn comes away with the ball for Emmaus. Horn with it way from, from the basket, looking for some help. Drives. Nobody stops her. Hands it off to Weist for a 10 footer, no good. Rebounded by Forgy for Faith. Wurgis now has it left side. Drives, puts it up with the left hand and good. Wurgis with timeout for Faith. 30 second timeout for Faith. We'll keep it here as they cut that eight point lead in half to just four with 5.12 to go here in the third quarter. This week only at ShopRite, just in time for Valentine's Day, Dozen Roses, $24.99, Lobster Tails, $11.98, Boneless Chicken Breast, $1.99, and everybody's favorite Turkey Hill Ice Cream, two for $5, along with half price on all Entenmann Crumb Cakes, all with your Price Plus card this week at ShopRite. ShopRite, and always save. Burgess with 15 for Faith. Bolton Fritz with four. Forgy with three. Wacker with two. For Mayus. Wiest with 13. Regeer with six. Boyer with four. Harwood with three. McKenna lost Stutter and Horn with two each. Mayus with the basketball after that timeout. Jansen has it, 15 footer is good. Pete Jansen with the right side shot. That's her first two of the game. Long two on the way is no good. Good rebounding position, puts it back, no good. And Boyer with the rebound. Forgy got a good rebound but couldn't get the put back in. Boyer brings it up court. Loses control and goes over to Faith. Took steps. Stevens got the pass on the left side. Took steps before putting it on the floor is called for the travel. 14 turnovers for May is eight for Faith. McKenna brings it up for May. It's 4-10 to go in the third quarter. Both teams have scored six points here in the quarter. Boyer with the 18-footer, no good. 
Rebounded and controlled by Barrett for Emmaus. They reset Boyer, top of the arc, thinks about the three. Sees Jansen, Jansen drives, picks up the dribble, needs some help. Goes off the Kenneth's hands with six on the shot clock. It'll be Faith basketball. Faith called out their play. Three players gonna check in next stoppage for Emmaus. Fifteen footer from the right side is good. Forgy. By Forgy. 34, 30, Emmaus up by four with the basketball. 3-10 to go in the third. Jansen drives, picks up her dribble. Harwood for three is no good. Rebounded by Faith, and they come back quickly the other way. In the lane, good block there. Word just drove, put up a little, oh, but then the pass stolen right back. Jump ball, held ball called, it'll stay this way. It'll be Faith basketball. Wholesale changes for the Eagles, for Mayus on that one. Inbound, right under the basket, cut off. Goes back out, drives right side, stops, pick up the dribble. Bay three sets with 15. Down low is blocked by Hannah Boyer. Forgy went to put up the shot and Boyer made a nice defensive play. Mayus with the basketball now. Jansen has it out, top. All on the shot clock. Regeer has it. Boyer just out, five on the shot clock. Long two is off the front of the rim. Jansen comes out the rebound, goes back to 20, pushes it out, and they can reset. 15 on the shot clock, wild scramble. Pass to the baseline for Weiss, shot is no good. Rebounded by Faith, it'll be a foul on number 12 for Emmaus, Jansen. That's her first foul. Each team only has one foul, and we got a timeout. Emmaus with a 30 second timeout. Just looking at some stats, Emmaus shooting much poorly at the start of this half. They're 14 to 38 now, 37%. Four of 12, 33%, and two and two from the line. 15 turnovers. Faith, 14 of 40 for 35%. One of seven from three and one of two from the line. They have nine turnovers. Just a reminder, Valentine's Day tomorrow. Remember, visit your local K jeweler. Every kiss begins with K. It'll be Faith Basketball, 147 to go in the third quarter. Very fast moving game here this afternoon. Faith with the basketball down by four. Man-to-man -man defense by Emmaus. Ten on the shot clock. They got on the baseline, stuck in the corner right now, trying to find help. Gets it down low. They're turning. Two on the shot clock. Oh, and Kay Jansen put pressure on that. They bailed him out. One second left. That was a foul. She slid in to the faith player, stuck in the corner with one second left on the shot clock. The shot clock will go back to 20 and Faith will inbound with 1.17 to go in the third quarter. Drives up, no good. Rebound controlled by Faith again. 18 foot baseline shot is no good. Another Faith rebound and they reset. Three on the way from the right side, no good. And finally, Brooke Radier comes down with the rebound for Emmaus. 
Just under a minute to go here in the third. Jansen drives left side, stops, looks for health. Brooke Laguerre at the foul line jumper is no good. Jansen with the rebound, puts it back up, and Bet draws the foul. Kay Jansen with a strong offensive rebound. Drew the foul, she'll shoot two with 46.9 to go in the third. Very slow quarter. Faith has outscored Emmaus 8-6 so far this quarter. Teams make changes right now. First one is good. Remember, see State, see Jake from State Farm for your new insurance quote. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. No good, but Brooke Regeer gets the rebound. Eagles reset. We stinks about a three. Boyer with the 15-footer is in and out, no good. Jansen with the rebound, right back to Boyer, who puts it up, and good off the backboard, and good. Shot clock and game clock basically the same now as we head to the end of this third quarter. Fans chant defense here, Emmaus with a seven-point lead. Nine on the clock. Has it. You gotta get something off. Long three on the way is no good. And that's the end of three here at the Pollard Fieldhouse with the Emmaus up 37-30 as we head to the fourth. We'll keep it right. Harwood has it. Eagles with a seven point lead to start. Three-pointer is no good by Weiss. Gets her own rebound. Harwood has it. Brooke Gear drives baseline, puts it up too strong, and goes to Faith. Low-scoring game here. Let's see what happens in the fourth. Faith works the ball around. Three-pointer from the right side on the way is short. Anna Harwood with the rebound for Emmaus. Boyer gets it at the foul line. Almost tied up, but they got a foul. Grabbed her arm. It'll be Eagle basketball. Shot clock goes back to 20. Ball inbounded, Harwood has it. Foul line jumper, uh, thought she got hit on the arm. They say the ball got touched and goes out of bounds. It'll be Eagle basketball regardless. But it could have been two free throws, Boyer thought, after that shot. Inbounded back to Boyer, outside the Wiest. Corner for Harwood who puts up the three is no good. Jansen with the rebound, but Got pushed as she grabbed the rebound, so it'll be Eagle basketball. Still this way. Foul on Fritz, that's her first. Team second for the quarter. Inbound of the Reese, back to Harwood. Ball's tied up, and it'll be Faith basketball. Neither team has scored yet in the fourth. We're a minute 30 in. Faith with the ball. Man-to-man -man defense, bad pass, goes out of bounds. It'll be Eagle basketball. 10 turnover for Faith, 16 for Emmaus. They're gonna put a little token pressure on on this inbound. Jansen, Harwood, Wiest, Boyer, and Regeer on the court for Emmaus. Wiest brings it up, gives it over to Jansen. Boyer has it. Harwood looking for it. Jansen now has it baseline. The Boyer for the eight-footer is in and out, no good. Jansen comes up with the rebound. 
Gives it to Regeer, puts it up, and good! <laughs> Brooker Gear with the basket. She has eight points for Mayus. And they have their largest lead of the game, nine points with 7.55 to go in the game. Ten on the shot clock, bad pass stolen by Brooker Gear comes up with it, and Harwood will bring it up for Mayus. Jansen with the left side into the lane for Boyer. Harwood comes up with the tip ball. Jansen drives left, 10 on the shot clock. Bad pass goes out of bounds. Another turnover for Mayus. Faith has it down by nine, 7.20 to go. They work it around the perimeter. Picks up the dribble far from the basket, down low. Good defense there, caught underneath the basket. Baseline jumper with seven on the shot clock, no good. And Jansen comes away with it, that never hit the, re that never hit the rim. Boyer foul line jumper is no good. Jansen with another offensive rebound. It'll be a held ball, I believe, and it'll stay this way for Mayus. Jansen with another offensive rebound for Mayus. Thirty second timeout for Faith, and we'll keep it right here. When you watch the Super Bowl. There's a lot of commercials. You might have got a hint of what my favorite commercial was. I loved the State Farm commercial with Arnold Schwarzenegger having difficulty saying neighbor and everybody correcting him. That was the one I thought was the best. Then if you wanted the subtlest commercial ever, that was for the movie If, where Randall Park claims to be John Krasinski. If you didn't understand that one, ask your friends who are big watchers of The Office and they'll explain it to you. Anyway, teams come back on to the court. It may have 16 of 48, 33%, 4 of 14 from 3, 3 of 4 from the line with 17 turnovers. Faith, 14 of 46, has 30% shooting, just 1 of 10 from 3, and they've only taken two free throws in which they've made one. They have 11 turnovers. Rebounding difference, 38 rebounds for May is 21 for Faith. Harwood will inbound the ball, 640 to go in the game for Mayus. Gets it to East. elbow jumper is no good. And Faith comes away with it. Two times the Mayus has had a chance to extend this nine point lead, the ball. Three on the way, or, or long two is no good. Ball goes out of, off the of fingertips of Wacker for Faith. It'll be a Mayus basketball. They're gonna put some pressure on now. They need it, they're down by nine with 6.19 to go. Full court pressure now. Inbound it to Weiss in the corner. Gets it to Boyer. They gotta get it across here. They just do. Jansen has it. Harwood thinks about the three. Down low to Barrett. Turns, puts up the shot. Is good, Barrett. Got the ball down low. Kept their pivot foot twisted. Put it up with the right hand and now the Emmaus has the largest lead in the game. 11 points with 5.50 to go in the game. Faith yet to score in this fourth quarter. Three on the way is good by Wurgis. That's their second three and they needed that. That cuts the lead to nine for Emmaus. All alone, Barrett again lays up a good, they beat the floor court. They beat the full court pressure and got Barrett for a layup all alone. I think that was a long two or not. Anyway, it went down as a two, that last shot, not a three for Faith. Down low, back out, Word just has it now, drives left. Three on the way from the left side is no good. Doesn't hit anything. Pat back in, to Faith controls it. Long baseline jumper is no good and 
Eagles, Emmaus comes down with the rebound. Wiest has it, she better watch out, somebody behind her. Causes the double dribble, she picked up the dribble and then started it again. Good defensive hustle by the Faith player to cause that turnover. Four forty-five to go in the game. Emmaus up by nine. Faith with the basketball drives left side, puts up left hand, no good. No, but uh, Boyer comes around with the rebound that hit the floor, and she picks it up. Harwood brings it up right side, gets it across. Foul is called on number 13, Fritz, for the bump. There's oh, Harwood oh, had it oh, far oh, away oh, from the basket. Yes. Harwood with it inbound. Jansen comes, goes out, and McKenna comes back in for Mayus. Ball inbounded to McKenna. McKenna right side, looking for some help. Comes, drives in the lane, puts up the right hand, too strong. Goes out of bounds, it'll stay this way off of a faith player. Shot clock will go back to 20 seconds. Harwood will inbound underneath her own basket, gets it into Boyer. Not sure what the... Uh, Hannah Boyer, I think, with the moving pick there. Faced with the basketball down by 11, four minutes to go in the game. Three on the way for Faith, partially blocked. Faith still comes up with the basketball. Long cross court pass. 17 footer is no good. It goes out of bounds. Grays the rim, goes out of bounds. It'll be Emmaus basketball with 3.43 to go. Full court pressure being set up now by Faith. Brooker Gear comes in. Rachel Barrett sits down for Emmaus. Ball stolen by Faith. They get it, they regroup, they come back down the court. Drives baseline, puts it up and no good. Weiss with the rebound. She tries to dribble out of it, she's surrounded, she needs help. Harwood gets it. Over cross court to McKenna, and Emmaus regroups. McKenna drives right side, ball almost hit away, she regroups, 10 on the shot clock. Weiss with the long three on the way is a little short. Rebounded by Faith and they come this way. Three minutes to go. Gets it in. Got it into Harms who was fouled by Boyer. Harms will go to the line to shoot two free throws. Third foul by Boyer. Harm shoots 55% from the three throw line this season. First one is on the way and is good. <laughs> Makes both and it'll be a timeout here by Faith as they cut the deficit to nine. Full timeout for Faith. And we'll keep it here. Emmaus has outscored Faith 6-4 in this fourth quarter. They have a nine point lead. Leading scores for Faith, Burgess with 17. Forgy, five points but 10 rebounds. Bold, four points. Fritz, four points. And then Wacker and Harms with two each. For Emmaus, Wiest with 13, Regeer with eight, Boyer with six, Barrett with four, Harwood with three, Jansen with three, McKenna and Lostetter and Horn with two each. Everybody has in scored who has played 
for Mayus this afternoon. That's some good balance scoring. Again, uh, May is 18 of 53 for 34 percent, 4 of 15 from three, and three of four from the line. While Faith is 15 of 54 for 28 percent, one of 12 from three, that's eight percent, and three of four from the line. Full court pressure going to be set up here with 254 to go, and Emmaus up by eight with the basketball. They will inbound here, get it inbound to McKenna. That's their point guard. Cut, tapped away, she picks up the dribble, needs help, but gets fouled. Foul on number 11, Bold. Four team fouls, meaning one more, and Emmaus will be shooting free throws. Shot clock goes back to 30, inbound the Weist on the right side, picks up her dribble, back to Harwood, over to McKenna, much better time breaking the pressure that time. McKenna with the ball. Boyer with the foul line extended. Back to McKenna, baseline jumper is way short. And Faith comes away with it. Nine point deficit for Faith. Baseline jumper is good. By Wacker, full court pressure. Cuts the deficit to seven. Mayus breaks the pressure. McKenna with it, 20 on the shot clock. Two minutes to go in the game. Baseline three is no good. Faith down by seven with the basketball, minute 50 to go. Drives baseline, puts it up, blocked. Foul called though on Boyer. And number 33 Harms will go to the line for Faith with a minute of 41 to go. Four fouls for Hannah Boyer right now. Harms just made two a minute ago for her only points this afternoon. Free throw is no good. Remember, men's game coming up after this at 6 o'clock, but I sense they're going to start that a little early, so tune in early if you want to make sure you catch the start of the men's game following this one. Second one rolls off the rim, hung on the rim for a, a second. Boyer with the rebound, and she was fouled by number 11, Bold. I think it'll be free throws now. It will be. Boyer will come down this end to shoot free throws for Emmaus. Senior from Milford, Illinois, shoots 68% from the line. First one, no good. Remember, you want to wear the same gear the players wear. Hit the shop.emmaus.edu for all your Emmaus Eagle branded gear. Boyer will get the second one with a minute 40 to go. Makes the second. Inches the lead back to eight for Mayus. A minute 40 to go. Eagles looking, Mayus looking for a good home win here. Drives left side, up and good by Burgess. Because it's a six with a minute and a half to go. Mayus breaks the press. They back it back out. Dangerous pass. McKenna has it in, in and turnover. Faith comes away with it, but calls a timeout. Faith got the steal. But it was a scramble for the ball. I couldn't see which player had it, but the coach, as soon as she got possession, called a full timeout for Faith so they would regain possession down by six with a minute 11 to go in the game. Next month on the Emmaus Sports Network, we're excited to bring you a tradition unlike any other, the Masters, exclusive early round coverage 
on the Emea Sports Network 2. Check your local listings for that. I think it's 628 for our dish customers. Game's still not over. It's only a six point game with a minute 11 to go and Faith will have the basketball following this timeout. Three point shooters for Faith. Orgy shoots 48%. Gorgi uh, doesn't shoot threes, that's 48 percent from the field. Uh, Burgess can shoot threes, both shoot threes for them. So let's see what they draw coming out of this timeout. Down by six with a minute 11. Faith inbounds. Burgess with the ball, drives left side, puts up with the left hand, up and no good, but they get the rebound, put it back, and good, number 10, Forgy with the rebound. Cuts it to four with 57 seconds to go. Eagles get across court. Harwood with it. They're gonna work some clock here. McKenna has it though, almost turned over. Foul is called, let's see who it's on. It's on Faith and Push. 31, Wurgis with the foul. Boyer will go to the line to shoot two with 45.6. First one is no good. May is clinging to a four point lead right now. Makes the second, pushes it back to five with 45.6. Burgess with the ball for Faith. Good defensive, she drives left side, puts it up, block. Harwood with the ball, go over to McKenna with 31 seconds. On the clock, 30.9, 27 on the shot, ends a foul. Fritz with the foul, going to the line is Aaron McKenna for Emmaus. Aaron shoots 65% from the free throw line. The freshman from Ankeny looking to make this more than a two possession game here. Free throw is good, and that's a six point lead. One more will be a seven point lead, and that'll make a big difference here this afternoon. Free throw is no good, Faith with the rebound. Loose ball, they come up with it, 29 to go. They're down by six, they needed three, this time down the court. Drives right side, puts up a floater, is no good. Boyer with the rebound, and McKenna has it. Oh. Emmaus just trying to get it over half court and Madeline Weist is fouled with 14.2 and that'll do it here this afternoon. Oh, well, Able to come up with that defensive rebound and Madeline Weist will go to the line to shoot two free throws with 14.2 seconds to go. The junior from Peoria, Arizona shoots just 45% but makes the first from the line, and that puts it to seven points. Lead with 14 seconds to go. Madeline makes both. <laughs> to seal that game for Mayas. 14.2 to go. Faith will inbound it. Mayas put some pressure on just so they can't roll the ball up the court. Faith with it, three-pointer on the way is no good. They get the rebound. Three-pointer again is partially blocked. Boyer comes away with it, and that'll do it this afternoon from the Pollard Fieldhouse. Emmaus comes away with a 48-40 victory here. That's the last home game for the women this season. As I mentioned, be back here at 6 Central 